welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about the Lyric Graffiti and the mileage on the Lyric Graffiti. We are closing in on 900 miles on the bike. Everything on it is still original. Uh, I added the mirror here, but that's basically about it. And I gotta tell you, I like the bike as much now as I did my first ride. It's an absolute pleasure to ride. And uh, I don't know what it is about this bike, but the I have a, a really good comfort level with this bike. I'm, I'm very comfortable. Um, it handles really well. Uh, I like the positioning of the bike. If I had one gripe, I guess I would like the seat to go back just a little bit more, uh, but not sit on that hump on the back for the passenger rider, but just have it go back two or three inches more. So I could slide back just a hair more, but other than that, and of course, uh, full suspension would be nice on the bike too, but it's a comfortable bike as far as uh, riding and it gives you a good, nice, relaxed ride. Uh, the positioning, like I say, is great. I like this kind of position. I don't like to be hunched over like a cafe racer style. I like to be a little more upright. And this bike has me upright. And it's, and I've said this time, time after time, but I'm going to say it again. It's a very smooth bike, even though it doesn't have full suspension with the, uh, the fat tires, it does make it uh, a comfortable ride. And uh, yeah, this, uh, this bike is, uh, Uh, very nice bike. I mean, I I rave about it, but uh, I mean, there's a few things like I say that would be nice to upgrade a little bit. Like, I mean, with the uh, I'd like a little more uh, takeoff, a little more torque on the takeoff. Top end speed, I'm not so worried about. I mean, it goes, this bike will do 36, 37 miles an hour, so it's not, that's not a that's not really a problem, although I guess 40 miles an hour would be good, or... I think it'd be nice to have a bike that's, that can go consistently, say, 35 to, to 40, and, and uh, be able to do that speed without pinning the throttle all the way, you know, like, have a little leeway, so you have a little extra if you need a little giddy-up uh, here or there, but... On a bike, when you're riding along 30 to 35 miles an hour, that's a pretty good clip. And I'll uh, show you right here what it's like to get the bike. I didn't have enough room there to, to get it up all the way, but see here I will. It gets up there pretty good once it gets going. On these streets, uh, they're not long enough to get going, and, but it does. Uh, I'm sure you've seen videos in the past. This bike easily gets into the 30s. There, if you're just riding around, though, in uh, if you're just riding around in the uh, side streets, like uh, residential areas like this. You're not going to really be able to get it up to that those speeds anyway. The, I mean, the speed limit in this area is 20 to 25 miles an hour, so you're not even going to be able to get it up to that kind of a speed. But, but if you're on uh, more of a highway, yeah, I mean, you can get it up there. I've had it up. I've had the bike up to uh, 39 miles an hour going down a little bit of a hill, but 
It's kind of hard also to get it up to those speeds when you're in the bike lane. The bike lanes are narrow. You've got debris in the bike lanes and you've also got um, sewer drains and sometimes people are parked in the bike lane or uh, trash cans and recycle bins, you know, all of that in the uh, bike lane. The bike lane is kind of like the leftovers of the road. You know, the cars get their spot and the bikes, we get our uh, the leftovers of the road, you know, uh, the curb basically, you know, that's our little area and that's all we get. It's so much nicer riding in the road like this because it's clean, you know, clear of all the debris or for the most part anyway. And uh, that's why we get so many flat tires, I think. If we got to ride on the road where the cars do all the time, then uh, we wouldn't get near as many flats. I know that because all the crap blows over and gets over to the uh, to the curb, right? And that's where the flats occur for the most part. I'm not saying always be, because there's you can get a flat in the center of the road, but when I got my flat on this bike, I've had one flat tire. It was on the... Uh, it was in the bike uh, lane. I ran over a roofing nail. So... To get uh, your bike up to 900 miles, so uh, that's about seven months for me. It's been about seven months, so. But this isn't my only bike, so it's not like this one's an exclusive to ride, although I've ridden it a lot. I just ride this one quite a bit because I just like the feel of it. I'm very comfortable riding it. And if you do any uh, night riding at all, I do a little bit, not a lot, a little bit though. And um, this headlight is awesome. It's a 6,000 lumen headlight and uh, it is uh, a bright one. Uh, I get so many people commenting to me about that headlight. You know, that's one of the things that stands out on this bike. I, you know, when I have people um, looking at the bike, um, the, the two things that really stand out to them on this bike that they really like is the size of the tires. You know, those flat tires were always a big draw, you know, for people. And then secondly is the headlight. Uh, it, they say it looks massive and when I turn it on, it can blind you easily, you know, it's, it's that bright. If you want to uh, comment on this or any other video, you can go ahead and leave that in the comments below and I do my best to read all the comments. And thank you very much uh, for participating as well uh, on the channel. We've got several people that um, are regular commenters and uh, that's appreciated. Thank you very much for doing that. Crank it up a little bit here. that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.